Finding the best smartwatch for you can be a pain. There are so many options on the market, and it's hard to tell which one will be best for you and your needs. In this video, we break down the top five smartwatches on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at products in every budget range, so whether you've got a few bucks to spare and want the best value, or are looking for the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which smartwatch will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, our pick for best Android smartwatch. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is the best smartwatch for Android users and combines the look and feel of Samsung's existing Tizen platform with the functionality of Wear OS. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 has a 40mm body with a 396 by 396 display that's bright and easy to read. Powered by an Exynos W920 chipset, this watch has plenty of power to run a variety of apps smoothly and runs on Google's Wear OS, giving you access to the Google Play Store so you'll get a lot more variety when it comes to apps. A good set of health and fitness features are available, including GPS for tracking runs and a new 3-in-1 bioactive sensor that lets you monitor your heart rate, SpO2 levels, and body composition measurement tools that provide insight with key fitness metrics like skeletal muscle mass, body fat percentage, body water, and BMI. If you're looking for more extensive health management features while maintaining Android compatibility, check out the Fitbit Versa 3 coming up later in the video. The Galaxy Watch 4 is rated IP68 water resistant, and you'll get up to two days of use from a full battery charge, and a charging pad is included in the box. If you want something a bit dressier, a classic version of this smartwatch is available as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, offering fancier materials like a stainless steel case and leather straps. Think of it like the Apple Watch's Edition line without the expensive price tag. Though it costs $100 more than the standard Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, its starting price is still less expensive than the entry-level Apple Watch 6. If you're looking for the best Android-based smartwatch that comes complete with a good health and fitness feature set, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is a great choice for you. You'll also get the benefits of Wear OS, giving you access to the Google Play Store's full range of wearable apps. Next up, the Fitbit Versa 3, our pick for best smartwatch for health management. With a focus on health management, the Fitbit Versa 3 offers plenty of health and fitness options that make it an excellent choice for you, and one of the best smartwatches in Fitbit's product line. The Versa 3 is a great-looking wearable that mirrors many functions of the Fitbit Sense, which is a similar-priced alternative with more options for sleep tracking and heart rate monitoring. The 40mm AMOLED display has a resolution of 336 by 336 pixels that's bright and crisp and visible, even at its dim setting, and built-in GPS means that you don't have to bring your phone along on workouts. The GPS is simple to use and will track the exercise you've completed, the route you took, along with your blood oxygen levels through the integrated SpO2 sensor. Track all of your daily activity, including steps, floors climbed, calories burned, and how much time you spent in different heart rate zones. You'll be able to see all the metrics that you've tracked for the day and can get more in-depth tracking data from the Fitbit app. Fitbit has a good reputation in its sleep tracking abilities, and the Versa 3 is no exception. Your sleep stages are logged during the night, giving you information on your heart rate and SpO2 level throughout the night, and can even provide early detection of disorders like sleep apnea. The battery will give you up to 12 hours with the GPS enabled, and up to 48 hours with the GPS disabled. So in either case, you'll have plenty of time for an all-day hike or bike ride. If you're looking for a smartwatch with a focus on health, fitness, and sleep tracking, the Fitbit Versa 3 is an excellent choice for you. You'll get the benefits of being able to monitor and evaluate your daily activity, SpO2 levels, and the built-in GPS makes exercise tracking a much more convenient single-device solution. Next up, the Veritech Nimble 3 smartwatch, our pick for best affordable smartwatch. If you don't have a lot to spend in your budget, the Veritech Nimble 3 is a full-function smartwatch that gives you nearly everything you're looking for, including options for fitness and health tracking, at a very reasonable price point. The Nimble 3 features a zinc alloy case with rounded corners that give it a stylish look. The 1.69-inch TFT color screen has a resolution of 240 by 280 and the watch band is made of wear-resistant silicone that's available in three different colors, black, rose gold, and silver gray, and will easily complement whatever you're wearing. Pair the Nimble 3 with your Android 4.4 Plus or iOS 8.0 Plus smartphone and you'll be notified of incoming messages or calls. Other functions include an alarm clock, raise hand to brighten the screen function, find your phone, reject a call, and more. Fitness tracking features include eight multi-sport modes that include walking, running, riding, skipping, badminton, basketball, football, and swimming. 
There's no GPS, so you'll have to bring your phone along for GPS tracking during workouts. And while you're working out, the Nibble 3 is protected from dust, dirt, sand, sweat, rain, and even being submerged in one and a half meters of water with its IP68 rating, so it can fully survive if you happen to accidentally drop it in the pool. Basic wellness tracking includes 24-hour real-time heart rate monitoring and sleep monitoring, which tracks your sleep time and quality. There's also step counting, calorie, distance, stopwatch, countdown, sedentary reminder, and more. Battery life will give you between 5 and 7 days of use, depending on which features you use, and 20 days of standby time. Accuracy and ease of use is where this smartwatch falls short of most other options on our list. It is a budget product priced around $60, so don't expect the same user experience as something like the Apple Watch or Fitbit. But what this watch does do is bring in smartwatch features that are accurate enough for a casual user. It is more than accurate enough to get a very good idea of how your workout is going, how you're sleeping, and more. And once you get a hang of using it, you may be happy you've saved the money for a similar overall set of features as something double its price. If you're looking for a smartwatch that will give you some good fitness and wellness options for the price, the Veritech Nimble 3 is a great choice for you. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Apple Watch Series 7, our pick for best smartwatch for iOS. The Apple Watch Series 7 is stylish, powerful, reliable, and with its bigger viewing area, the Series 7 is the best smartwatch you can buy for iOS and a natural choice for iPhone owners. Aesthetically, the Series 7 features slightly more rounded corners, while the display is curved in a way that makes the watch easier to read from the side, and the display is also 70% brighter in always-on mode. The UI has undergone some tweaks, adding larger buttons, while the larger Apple Maps UI lets you see nearby landmarks more easily. The QWERTY keyboard will let you text from your wrist by tapping out individual characters, or by swiping suggested words based on your input. If you're set on getting an Apple Watch but are willing to give up on some of the extended health and fitness features, the Apple Watch SE is a good alternative, and it's coming up later in the video. Since the Series 7 didn't introduce any new wellness features in this release, it falls a bit behind the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, but is still a reliable fitness tracker. It monitors your heart rate, counts your steps, and tracks your mileage with GPS, plus offers support for dozens of workout types, including Tai Chi and automatic outdoor cycling tracking. If you disable some of the more power-hungry features, the battery can keep going for up to two days. But more realistically, if you're using daily activity tracking, always on display, and take a few phone calls, you'll still easily get 18 hours. And if you use the included magnetic charger, Apple claims that the battery will charge 33% faster. If you're invested in the Apple ecosystem, the Apple Watch Series 7 is a very good choice for you, and the ideal companion for your iPhone. You'll get good fitness tracking and a larger display that makes interaction a pure joy. Last but not least, the Apple Watch SE or Samsung Galaxy Active 2, our pick for best smartwatch for most people. If you're looking for a smartwatch with a good mix of price, quality, and functionality, we have two options for you to consider, the Apple Watch SE and the Samsung Galaxy Active 2. Which one is going to be better for you just depends on whether you're an Android user or iPhone user. Apple Watch SE offers the best mix of price versus overall performance in the Apple Watch lineup, giving a great overall user experience similar to the Apple Watch Series 7, but at a cheaper price point. While the Galaxy Active 2 does pretty much the same thing, just in the Android family of products. The Apple Watch SE has some great features, like activity and sleep tracking, GPS and heart rate monitoring, while the Galaxy Active 2 gives you ECG, blood pressure monitoring, heart rate monitoring, and improved sensors and better GPS accuracy. The SE may lack a few features of the Active 2, like ECG and SpO2 monitoring, but it doesn't give up the things that really matter, including a large, easy-to-read OLED display, good battery life, GPS, and fitness tracking that includes four new workouts. The SE is also capable of sleep tracking, but it's a bit less informative, giving it only considers accelerometer data and doesn't include additional sensor data. The Active 2 is a smartwatch that offers fitness and sleep tracking and LTE connectivity, it's available with either a 40 or 44 mm case, just like the SE, and an always-on Super AMOLED display. Fitness tracking includes an ECG sensor and run coaching that helps you increase your speed and endurance. It also automatically tracks activities from cycling to swimming, or can be manually activated for additional exercises. Sleep tracking breaks down your sleep cycles and presents the data to you so you can see the quality of sleep you're actually getting. Battery life for the Active 2 is about two and a half days, but using the always-on display will consume more power. The Apple Watch SE will give you about 18 hours on a full charge. 
If you're looking for a smartwatch that offers good quality and features at a reasonable price, either the Apple Watch SE or the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 would be a great choice for you. There are some differences in the fitness and wellness options, but on the whole, your decision is going to be heavily weighted by which phone you use. Whichever decision you make, there's no real downside. If you're interested in updated pricing, check the links in the description. If you enjoyed the video and learned something, give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video.